Hey guys. You know what really fucking pisses me off? Stupid people. Stupid fucking dickheads who overreact and jump to conclusions with worst case scenarios and bullshit without checking any information or fact, just going with worst case scenario and just assuming that that's the fact. Um, doing like some hardcore damage control without any information. Like, let's not call and find out what's going on. Let's just assume that this and this and this is going to happen and fucking do this. What, if I, what am I fucking talking about? I'm talking about the fact that yesterday, while I was working, my car got towed. This car. So, spoiler, I got my car back. Um, sorry, I hate to ruin a good story. I know you're all on the edge of your seats. It was a real fucking cliffhanger. Oh my god, did you get your car back? Shut up, I'm delirious. The past 24 hours has been fucking ridiculous. Although my daughter told me that there was like some giant moon or something. Did you see the moon? Have you seen the moon? It's like giant sized. My daughter said she heard, she overheard something. I put CNN on so my daughter wouldn't get distracted from the TV while she was doing her homework. So I'm like trying to find the most boring thing. I'm like, what can I put on that is gonna give her absolutely no interest to look at the TV? So I put CNN on. And while that was on, she overheard something about like super moon or something like that, where the moon is like the closest to Earth that it's been in some crazy amount of time or something. I don't know, second hand information from a nine year old, bear with me, but you probably all know what I'm talking about the giant moon. Um, yeah, so I say it's the giant moon's fault that's what it's happened because you know, people always say that crazy shit happens when there's a full moon. What about when there's a giant sized full moon surely that's got to have an impact right like my mum always used to say like all the crazy people come out on a full moon what about when there's a fucking massive giant sized one that's got to have some sort of impact surely because yeah yesterday my car got towed and yes it could have also had nothing to do with the giant sized moon it could have had a lot to do with the fact that I didn't watch the time and I was still parked in a clearway 15 minutes after it became a clearway. Maybe it had nothing, maybe that's all it was. Maybe it had nothing to do with the giant size moon. I'm just saying there's a giant size moon in the sky and maybe that had a little to do with it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> or it had nothing to do with it and I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, fine. But I liked the first option better. So... After I realized that my car got towed, it was actually when uh, the client came home and asked me uh, which, if I had parked out the front. And I said, yes. And she said, is your car blue? And I said, yes. And she said, I think I just saw it get towed. And I, oh. It was like one of those situations where it's like you're hearing it, but it's not real. Like, even when she was saying, like, you know, is your car blue and stuff like that, I'm thinking she's just going to tell me, like, she saw me get a ticket or something like that. Like, didn't click until the very last minute. Really, it didn't hit home until I actually walked out the front and saw that there was, like, no car there. Um, that's a pretty good indication that it's real. Your car's gone. Um, so, yes, that was um, interesting. But, um, so I called my boss and, uh, was thinking that maybe they would, uh, pay the impound cost so that I could get my car released from the impound. Um, and then they would just hold my pay until they're reimbursed. The only thing they said to me was, mind you, they fucked off from the office like 15 minutes early so I had to call their mobile and all they said to me was uh we'll talk about it tomorrow or we'll deal with it tomorrow or something really like vague and you know nondescript so um that's all I got so then I 
didn't hear anything from them. And then today when I looked at my roster, all of my shifts are gone for the rest of the week and all of next week. Um, so I sent them an email saying like, you know, maybe there's some sort of problem with the rostering program because it's like all online. I said like, I don't know whether there's some sort of problem with the rostering program or like whether I'm reading it wrong or something, but like, it looks like I have no shifts and I know that I would have been contacted if there was a problem with my shifts. So I'm just wondering what's going on. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, from like me saying that my car got towed isn't me saying I'm not going to be coming to work for the next week. Just fucking idiots, really. Just fucking idiots. Like, my car got towed. The impound fee is like $322. Like, you think I can afford to not work for a week, you fucking idiots? <sighs> People are fucking idiots. <laughs> And maybe I'm a fucking idiot for not keeping an eye on the time. Standard, fair, call, understand, point taken. But at the same time, other people are idiots too, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not the only idiot. Can we agree to disagree on that? <laughs> okay, see you guys.